The red-hot race to fill the Senate seat left vacant by the late Senator Ted Kennedy as the Democrats' supermajority in Washington hangs by a thread. CBS News congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes is in Medford, Massachusetts this morning with the latest. Big day, Nancy. Good morning. A big day, Maggie, and I think the headline in the Boston Herald this morning says it all. Mass hysteria. That's a sentiment that could apply not just to the state of Massachusetts, but to the Democratic Party as a whole this morning, which is petrified about the possibility that it will lose a seat that until just a couple of weeks ago was considered one of the safest in the nation. It all comes down to turnout now. Democrats in this state are typically better at getting voters to the polls. That bodes well for Martha Coakley, the state attorney general. But Republican state senator Scott Brown's supporters are more passionate, thanks in part to his opponent's half-hearted campaign. And I think she basically had the lead for a while, and she kind of took that for granted. Massachusetts may have a liberal reputation, but a full half of voters here are registered as independents. Despite his conservative record, Brown has been tapping into that independent streak. It's not the Democrat seat. No! It's your seat. The result? Independents now favor Brown by a margin of more than two to one, according to a recent poll. Even the union guys, who, who traditionally are, are heavy Democratic voters, have been attracted to Scott Brown's campaign because of the image that he's put out there as, as a working guy. This is my truck. And I want to in the closing days the of the race, United Democrats States. have poured millions into trying to hold on hey, to the late Barack Ted Kennedy's seat. The fate of health care reform, so his signature lot. issue, hangs it's in the balance. So Democrats are scrambling now to figure out how they can pass health care before you're seated if you win. Well, I think that's unfortunate because pe people deserve better. The polls just opened a few minutes ago, and we're expecting Martha Coakley herself to be here at this school to cast her ballot any minute now. And we should know by tonight whether she and the Democratic machine here in Massachusetts can fend off what one political veteran political watcher described as the upset of his adult life. Maggie?